welcome to Brick Vault. Today we've got an amazing, very large Lego minifigure collection for you, but it's not just the minifigs. We've got every Lego minifigure, mob, and creature for Minecraft ever made. This sandbox construction game created back in 2009 is absolutely massive. It spans a ton of creativity. You mine for things, you craft things, and there's an unending amount of possibilities for creation, so people just keep on playing the game. It fits in perfectly with LEGO. In fact, the shapes of uh, the boxes in the game match really well with bricks, and also in concept of the gameplay and philosophy, everything seems to match up. The LEGO themes for this video game have been coming out since 2013. People have been loving it. There are a ton of minifigs and mobs that create this collection. And we will be going through it chronologically in order from when they released, what sets they came out in, and how much they are worth. But I am going to kind of start by focusing on just a couple of the main characters, like Steve and Alex, and then jump back into the chronological release order like we usually format our collection videos. So starting off with Steve first, this is the Steve from 2014, and the standard guy here with the blue shirt and pants, no armor, no helmet. He came out in a ton of different sets, 10 to be exact, but the very first one he came out in was the cave. He's a decent enough fig. The only printing on his body is just the little print at the top to make it look like his shirt is opened up a little bit there. And he's got a pretty simple uh, expression on his face. Insanely common guy. The parts for him are everywhere. He is 60 cents as a minifigure. One of the cheapest Lego minifigs you can get on the market. And he slowly but surely evolves. Now 2014 also had the Ender Dragon set as well as the End Portal and it gave way to the completely diamond encrusted Steve. He's got diamond pants, diamond armor, diamond helmet. None of the printing for his body changes. But I do like that that armor piece does have that little opening so you can still see the print on the chest. He is $7, which is interestingly enough, one of the more expensive minifigs out in this collection. Then we also have Steve in iron armor and an iron helmet from the mindset. Those parts are super common. He's just a $3 fig. Then 2015 came out with two more Steves. Once again, just different combinations of armor. This is him in his helmet. First appearing in the desert outpost set, two bucks. Then here he is again with diamond armor, but this time not the diamond leggings. He was in the nether fortress set. Set. He's a $4.50 minifigure. And here's one of the most expensive figs from the collection. Steve in his gold armor. This includes the gold leggings. So the actual sort of body of the minifigure does change in this one. He appeared in the fortress set. He's eight bucks. 2017 gave way to four new Steves, just dressed up a bit differently. Here he is in diamond armor without a helmet. This was part of the Nether Railway. Probably the most unique Steve aside from the golden one is this guy. He is in copper armor. He came out in the Jungle Temple set. Then Steve with just the flat silver legs came out in the Waterfall Base set. And here he is completely fleshed out with both the silver leggings and the armor and the helmet. This guy appeared in the Mountain Cave set, sells for nine bucks, which makes him the most expensive of any of the Steve minifigs. Now here is the last of the new Steves. He came out most recently in 2018 from the Nether Portal set, and he's just kind of got a combination of a bunch of different stuff. The iron leggings, the diamond armor, the enchanted helmet, and also a new shield piece. So let's zoom all the way back up and do this again for Alex. I'm gonna go even faster. The first version of this minifig appeared in the Desert Outpost set back in 2015, but was released in six sets in total without any types of armor. So the printing for this character is super, super common. Alex is $1.25. You can see a little bit of the printing for sort of the hair going around the over the shoulder. Alex came with a diamond helmet in the Nether Fortress set, also in the year 2015. Iron armor for the legs in 2016 for the Jungle Treehouse set. Then four more alternate releases in 2017, starting with just the iron armor in the Witch Hut set. Golden pants in the Waterfall Base set. And then a complete diamond getup along with a shield one of those new shield pieces in the mountain cave set. This is a $12 fig being the most expensive or among the most expensive minifigs from the collection. And then Alex also appeared in the ocean monument with enchanted armor and helmet. I believe this was the first set to have the armor molded in the new color. And then 2018 gave us an Alex in iron armor without a helmet. This was in the nether fight set. Currently this Alex is $7 where the uh, whole set was just selling for 15 originally. And the last of the new 
new Alex's came out in the Polar Igloo set with a diamond helmet as well as copper leggings. A little bit of a similar color compared to the regular brown pants. And that is it for knocking out the main characters. Let's jump back to the early years now and we're going to go through all the sets chronologically documenting each of the new figs and mobs that came along. So this is the first zombie. He appeared in the cave set back in 2014. He's just like Steve except his skin is green. Of course the print on the face is a zombie print and the chest is uh, you know got the green skin as well instead of the tan. He is one dollar. Also appeared in like six other sets but this mob too appeared in the cave set as well as the mine. It's the spider or the cave spider. The head mold and print is unique just to this type of mob and it's a pretty simple build that makes up the four legs and the abdomen and the thorax. Four dollars and then we get our first skeleton. The base version of this guy appeared in eight different sets, the first one being the farm. He's incredibly common, just $1.25, but personally, I like skeletons a lot, and I love getting the arms and leg pieces, especially for custom building. Also from the farm and appearing in the crafting box as well is the cow, just a brown cow with some white spots. That head is unique just to the cow. $4 in parts, and the farm also gave way to the first sheep. The sheep also appeared in the jungle he has set as well as the fortress. Simple build, just like the cow pretty much. Slightly smaller, $3 fig. And then appearing first in the first night set from 2014, we get our look at the creeper. The creeper went on to appear in so far eight other sets. And the mold for the body is unique just to this guy. Of course, the print for his head is unique as well. He is a $2 fig. And personally, I just love the mold for the body. I've seen some people do some very interesting things with that particular part. And also appearing in this first wave from the first night set is the pig. It's the same kind of build as the cow and the sheep. This time he's totally pink. The head is of course exclusive to this particular type of animal. He is 350 and probably this is my favorite animal from the collection. We have the mushroom both from the crafting box and then later in the mushroom island set. Five dollars total and I think the mushrooms growing on the back is the best touch. Of course the head is exclusive to this guy and then coming from the ender dragon set, the big set from the first wave, we get our first enderman. Like like the creeper, the base piece used for the body is exclusive just to this type of figure. He's got an exclusive little eye print on his head. And in this particular set, he's holding a tan cube, but that changes depending on the element that he's sort of working with. $4 fig. And the first time I did this collection, I actually forgot to, to put the Ender Dragon in the collection. It just sort of slipped my mind because he's just so massive. I didn't really think of him as a mob and more of just a giant part of the actual set. But yeah, he totally does count. So this is the Ender Dragon. Dragon. Some exclusive printing is used to make up the tongue and eyes. He's kind of a funky looking guy all around, but you know, he's a super blocky dude. So it kind of makes sense that he looks a little bit funny. He's really, really poseable to be fair and kind of fun to play with. The parts estimate for this particular creature is around 25 bucks, which makes him tied for the most expensive uh, anything in this collection. And now let's jump up to the year 2015 where we get our first snow golem. I like the use of the brown stud guns used for the arm. Arms. Lots of good little prints that make up the coal along his chest and body. He's about $4.50 and first came out in the snow hideout. In the desert outpost set, a skeleton was given armor and a helmet. He's three bucks. And in the same set, we also got our first look at a wolf. The mold for the head is kind of built up a little bit to show off some more shoulders. He's given a tail. He is $5. And then this next minifig seems pretty popular. I know a lot of people really liked it when this guy came out. He first appeared in the nether fortress, but uh, a few other sets as well. This is the zombie pig man and he is the first of any of the Minecraft minifigs to get printing onto the legs and even some onto the toes. He sells for four bucks and now we get probably one of the best head prints from the collection. This is a blaze appearing in the nether fortress as well as the nether portal. He's 350 and probably has some of the best sort of just build detailing all around. Really like the way this guy was put together and then also coming from the nether fortress set is the ghast. Cool thing about this guy is that he has a really fun trigger function to shoot that little stud in the front. Probably one of the best hidden triggers of all time. And he came with an alternate expression too, if you don't want to shoot anything out. Really good prints that make up the face for both the sort of angry attack face and the kind of somber or solemn face. He's a 650 uh, build. And here is also a super popular friend, the Iron Golem. He first appeared in the Iron Golem set, later came out in the village. I loved that play function from the Iron Golem set where he actually appears. And he's got quite a 
lot of uh, exclusive prints, and of course the head mold is uh, special just for this character. A lot of special pieces went into the making of this guy. He sells for $450, and by the way, that was a 2016 release. We're now in the year 2016. This is the Baby Pig, first appearing also in the Iron Golem set, and then a few others. Same head mold is used for the Baby Pig, like the adult. It's just a smaller build. He's three bucks. And then the Enderman came out in the End Portal set. Same kind of Enderman that we got from the original version, just he's holding a different block in his hands. It looks like it's stone this time around. I think that changes up one more time. Interesting fact about these guys, they can't stand up unless they are studded into the ground somewhere. Here is the Cave Spider in dark blue, also coming from the End Portal, but two appearing in the Mountain Cave. 250, and personally, I think the Cave Spider does look better with the dark blue. The red sort of pops out a little bit nicer on the face. Now next up is the Ocelot, maybe the only build out of the collection that I could actually say looks a little bit sleek. He's only one stud thick at any point. Maybe the head is a little bit thicker. He appeared first in the Jungle Treehouse set and then later in the Jungle Temple. He's four bucks and uh, that green really does look good in the eyes for the yellow head. This next mob, the Wither Skeleton, has probably some of the more useful pieces, those longer black skeleton legs. I feel like it could be used in way more fun scenarios later down the line. I hope we see that part in more sets later. He first appeared in the Wither set as well as the Nether Fight. He's a $3 fig and then this is the wither itself also appearing in the wither the exclusive pieces for this build are the heads pretty good build all around it's a six dollar fig or builder mob and then very quickly a skeleton came out with just a helmet in the fortress set 250 another skeleton came out with just armor in the fortress set 270 technically those guys count as exclusive releases and the fortress set also came with a horse this is an actual new creature the head for it looks great i like that it's on the little uh hinge piece so you can move it up and down. The tail also moves up and down, and it's a pretty solid little Minecraft build. It's 650, and yes, I was sure of it. Yeah, the Enderman also came with just a regular bit of dirt. You can see the grass on the top. He appeared in the village set. He's three bucks, and also first appearing in the village set is this villager here. He's in brown. He later came out in the melon farm. Unique to him is the mold for the body as well as the mold for the head. He's 650, and the other villager that came out in the village set remains exclusive to this set because of the white form of that molded bit of the body and he competes with the ender dragon for being the most expensive figure in the set coming out to $25 which is kind of nuts but that's just sort of how it goes the village being one of the most expensive and kind of most popular of the larger sets so yeah it just sort of works out that way and sort of the same thing comes around for the zombie villager also exclusive to this big old set he's 11 bucks and the only thing that changes is just the zombie version of the villager head now this is incredibly nitpicky, but technically there is a different type of pig. They just used two different, uh, basically just some plate pieces changed around for sizes on the inside. There's nothing different about this guy. He appeared in a few more sets. He's five bucks as opposed to the 350 one, but really there isn't much of a difference between this and the original. Now we get a lot of new figs. I'm going to go through them kind of quick because they came out in two different skin packs. And personally, I've had a lot of fun with these minifigures. I think they had a lot more flair and kind of coolness to the whole collection. Officially, they weren't really given names, but the designer video did sort of name what these guys were supposed to look like. This one here is a cyborg, then a creeper disguise, then the next guy is sort of an everyday outfit figure with a ham print on the shirt, and the last is a captain, maybe the captain of a ship. They all go for around four bucks, and the prices are pretty much the same for skin pack two. This first one is a knight. He's got kind of glowing armor, which is pretty cool. Then there is a crafter with a a flower in her hair. Then the next guy is what is described as an adventurer with faded jeans and a leather vest. And the last is a moon man or somebody that's in a spacesuit. Personally, I like the spacesuit guy the most. And in case you're wondering, no, there is no printing on the backs of any of these uh, skin pack minifigs. All right, jumping on up to the year 2017, the first of anything that we get is a baby mushroom. Same print used for the regular mushroom head, but just a baby version. Came out in the Mushroom Island set, sells for five bucks then this is probably one of the most creative and fun to play with uh, mobs from any of the Minecraft sets. This is the big magma cube coming from the nether railway. Really fun sort of build design so you can lift it up and kind of have these fun sort of sectioned bits or sort of slabs of the magma cube opening up. Really clever design there. And then this is the small magma cube, which is basically just a printed uh, minifigure head. The build for the snow golem changed a little bit in the ice spikes set. This is a $6 uh, build 
build or minifigure or mob. And then another baby cow came out in the Ice Spikes set as well. It's just a baby brown cow. That's around 350. And here also in the Ice Spikes set, we get a slightly different build for the Cave Spider with just a different tile piece used on the back. It really didn't change much from the original. And this next figure is probably one of the best looking figs from the entire collection. This is the Witch from the Witch Hut set. $8 exclusive to just this set. And I love the hat that has been uh, created for the top. It still is sort of like the villager head mold and also the villager body mold, but this time coming in purple with the nice green highlights. All in all, just a really fun character to have. Definitely unique compared to most of the rest of the collection. And then the little small slime, also from this set, and then later in the crafting box 2.0 in the mountain cave, is once again just a different printed Minecraft head piece that has been just, it's just the head. There's no body attached to it. It's a dollar twenty-five. I do like the trans green. And here we have yet another Enderman with a slightly different color combination for the cube that it's holding in his hand. He's four bucks, first appeared in the waterfall base set and also the mountain cave. But a more interesting animal to come from the waterfall base set was this black cat. So far exclusive just to this set, there's a mold made especially for the cat face. I think it's great. You can see he kind of has floofy little paws and a little bit of white on the tail as well. Seven bucks, believe it or not, just for this little guy. And then we have a sheep that's been dyed blue. Also from the waterfall base set, the head has been molded specifically just for this particular type of sheep. It's not that common of a color. He is a $7 fig too, or $7 animal. And then we get the most decked out of the zombies in the collection. This is the zombie with a golden helmet and legs. He appeared in the mountain cave set. We've seen those parts before in other figs, but they're really not that common. So he is a bit more expensive. He's 12 bucks. And then the same kind of goes with, you know, we, if you want that full uh, gold armor setup for any of the characters, the skeleton also came with the armor piece for the chest in the same set, the mountain cave. He's nine bucks, but definitely the most unique and also most expensive figure to come from the mountain cave was the charged creeper. Really nice effect all around. And because he's exclusive to this very large, very expensive set, he's a $20 fig. Now I showed off the little slime before. This is the big slime. Not quite as fun of a build as the uh, magma cube, but it looks sort of like it's in the same shape. I do enjoy though the print that make up the eyes and mouth on those pieces. And wow, there really were just a lot of new guys to come from this very large set. This is our first bat. Personally, I love the bat more than any of the other creatures just because of that single printed piece that makes up the face just on the side of that one by one plate. It's absolutely perfect for using the spare part to make a smiling poop emoji, just saying. But he's a $2 little creature. And then also we get another version of the wolf. He doesn't have that little red highlight now. It's just in dark gray. Gray. He's eight bucks. And also the baby wolf came out in this set too. Just a slightly smaller build, a different connection point for a shorter tail. And the baby wolf is five. Last of the new creatures to come out for the set was the black sheep. The mold for the head has been changed up to match up the rest of the body. So that is an exclusive head mold for this sheep. It's $8. And that finally finishes it off for the very large and very unique mountain cave set that came out. In the crafting box 2.0, the horse changes its color to gray. So the head has now had an exclusive mold. Four bucks for the different gray horse. And then probably one of the most popular Minecraft sets of all time came out the Ocean Monument. And here we got the Guardian with a great color combination of the bright orange, green, and the sand green that kind of makes up those outer plates. Personally, I think that mold for the eye is perfect for a large version of Plankton from SpongeBob. And then the Elder Guardian has the tan, dark tan, blue, and lavender highlights. This too also shoots a spring-loaded shot, and I'm not sure about their prices, but I have a feeling they'd be decently expensive if you wanted to order the parts all individually. The squid also came out in this set, just with a fun little mold that makes up the squid face, and a very simple build that makes up the body. He's $5 in parts. And here is 2018. This pig has a little bit of dark orange on the back. It's from the Melon Farm set, two bucks. Now there is a wolf with a little bit of a blue highlight. It came out in the chicken coop set, $3. Also a chicken came out in 
this set, believe it or not. Really awesome mold that made up the head, and it's just $1, because it actually that mold came out quite a few times. It also appeared with the baby chicken, which is probably the most adorable of any of the animal builds, minus maybe the baby zombie. It came from the zombie cave set. It's a $4.50 fig, and it's what my Southern California friends would describe as totes adorbs, never to be repeated again. This is my favorite of the skeletons, or it's called a stray. Comes with a bow, a withered cloth, and a very creepy dark colored head with those white eyes. It sells for around seven bucks. Polar Igloo set also came out with a polar bear, which is awesome. It has a little bit of mobility, which is kind of a funny little function. An exclusively molded head, four dollar fig. Baby polar bear also came out in this set. Doesn't have the same bit of mobility as the mama polar bear, and sells for around the same amount. If you thought there was only one baby zombie, Zombie, you were wrong. There's a baby pigman zombie or a baby zombie pigman. I don't know what order you put those words in. It came out in the Nether Portal set, also around 450. The head is gray, the body is pink, and they really did go all out with the very small detailing on the body. Now the Ghast had a second version. This is Ghast 2.0, also from the Nether Portal set. No exclusive printing that makes up the eyes. They just decided to build all of those details into the body of the uh, of the mob itself. It doesn't shoot a stud. It shoots disc and the parts that make this whole thing up all together come out to around $11. Here's the donkey from the farm cottage set and this is probably the coolest and most interesting of the horses and also the cheapest. Just two bucks and he's got a bunch of satchels uh, and he just looks like more interesting and more fun to have. The farm cottage also came out with our very first rabbit or very first two rabbits both in black and brown each a dollar. Very adorable. I still think the uh, baby chicken's a little cuter but what am I to say? That is the entire collection for Minecraft. That is all the minifigs and all the mobs. Lots of brick built characters and I have no doubt that Lego is going to be expanding upon this theme even more. Personally I like the sort of odd funny boxy details they have. I know that Lego makes sure to not use stickers for this particular theme so we have a lot of really fun prints. I believe it really shows when you take a close look at all of these characters and minifigs as it passes by and personally I'm not that familiar with this sort of later version of the Minecraft universe. I don't really know what I would want to be added next in the lineup, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what LEGO decides to put out for the next Minecraft theme. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any ideas for a new LEGO collection video you want to see us do in the future, let us know in the comment section below. And we have a Brick Vault web store where we sell amazing instructions for awesome mocks. Uh, we're constantly adding to the store. Uh, help support the channel and the builders that make the designs. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.